Google just released its browser called Anti-Gravity and I'm going to show you how to install Anti-Gravity on your Ubuntu machine. If you go to anti-gravity uh, anti .google forward slash downloads, you will see this here, download Google for Anti-Gravity for Linux, then you'll choose your favorite operating system. Now in my case, I'm using Ubuntu, so I'll go to the Ubuntu option that you see here on the far right, then click on download. So once you download, you should be able to come up to your, to your, to your machine. I already have this downloaded, so I don't need to sort of go around that. So you can download uh, directly and then follow the steps to installing your machine using your, your installer on Ubuntu. The other option, which is what I'd recommend, is using this commands that you have here. So you have the first command, which is add the repository sources, all this. So basically, you'll go to your terminal. Again, I've already run all these commands on my case, but I'm going to show you quickly. So you'll just copy this command. Uh, you just run it there. Then of course, type in your password and everything. Then once you've done that, you'll go ahead and do your sudo apt update, which is usually obvious whenever you want to install anything. The first command is going to add the repository to your sources.list.d. Then this one is going to update your package cache, of course. And then to install, just do sudo apt install anti-gravity. And that is going to be it. You don't need to do anything else. Once it finishes within less than two minutes on it, or less than a minute even, depending on how fast your internet is. Once you're done with that, you can now start using your anti-gravity. Now I'm going to set it up together with you because I've already done all this. And the only thing that is remaining for me to do here is the setup itself. Now what I'm going to do, let me try to get it. Where is it? Awesome. We're here. So this is this is what I have. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to show you the steps that you go through. For example, you see we have this window here. Then I can go to next steps. So once you've already installed it, done the installation, you just search it anti gravity. It should show you. You should you should see this icon there for you to know that you've installed it. Then I, I can I want to go with just import from VS Code. I have some settings from VS Code I want to use. Then you select of course dark mode because why would you not use dark mode? Then agent assisted development, I'll, I'll go with that. I, uh, I've been uh, lately, I've been experimenting with a lot of agent driven development, but I'll just go with assisted for now. I'll uh, select normal, just I'll go with all these default settings that are here. Then quickly go to sign in with Google. Now it has already prompted me on a different window here to sign in with my Google account. I'm going to do that on the side, which you want to be able to see, but you should see it on your end. And once that is done, now, as you can see, it is setting up anti-gravity here on my machine. I can agree to the terms, move next. Then, as you can see, we already have this. Let me set it full screen. This is what it looks like. It just looks like Visual Studio Code, just so the, the same way most of most things use. Most, or rather, most, uh, most code editors look like this. Anyway, uh, that is basically it. You can go ahead. You can see the settings are pretty much the same settings you'd use on your Visual Studio Code. You can pull up your terminal from down here. You can run anything that you want. And that is it. That is how you install anti-gravity on your machine.